the four years that I've been teaching at the Army War College, I've been researching the role of technology in urban combat, specifically uh, trying to understand to what degree and how urban terrain erodes technological advantages and brings about an equalizing effect between a force that is inclined to fight with technological sophistication and a force that's going to fight without technologically sophisticated weapons or military systems or methods. This idea is prompted from uh, reading the research literature about urban combat, a lot of which written in the late 90s and into the beginning of the 21st century, that described urban combat as a great equalizer. And so my research has been looking at to what degree and how that equalizing effect actually comes about. The role of technology in urban combat is a really important one for Army War College students who are studying military strategy. The Chief of Staff of the Army, General Milley, has told us uh, that he anticipates the Army needing to be able to fight in cities in future war. And I believe strongly if you want to have good judgment about future warfare, uh, the best way to do that is by studying past warfare. Past warfare, military history, is the database of our professional body of knowledge uh, that we use to build our professional expertise. And as I've been studying past urban battles, it's been clear to me that the role of the urban terrain is one of only many factors that brings about the actual outcome of that battle. That factors such as political will, uh, the amount of planning and preparation, the role of doctrine, uh, the role of leadership, all are as important in the outcome when a force is fighting as a city uh, as much as the urban terrain itself. And so by having a good understanding of all of the factors that are likely to influence an urban battle, uh, we can bring about greater judgment about what those future battles might be. The other thing that looking at past urban battles has really illuminated for me is the critical role of controlling the narrative or developing and directing the narrative when a force is fighting in a city. As we think about future warfare, we need to anticipate that future urban battles are going to have the narrative of that battle broadcast across multiple platforms in real time. And so military leaders have to be investing their personal time and their intellect in developing and directing what that narrative is going to be. If we aren't doing that, our adversaries will do that and our adversaries will be able to paint a picture that shows our technological advantages and our technological success as a strategic failure. So military leaders studying military strategy have to be able to think about all of these factors as they think about what future urban combat might look like. <laughs>